Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PFX. Uh, I hope you all are uh, safe and healthy and uh, that you had a great trading week. As usual I will guide you through all the major currencies including gold and oil for the upcoming trading week. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer please please hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. And welcome back guys a quick look at the calendar and as you see we have a lot of major event um, major impact event uh, next week we start with uh, boji on the tuesday i'm not expecting much fireworks there we have consumer confidence also on tuesday wednesday we do have uh, cpi quarter and quarter from uh, australia we have advanced gdp uh, quarter and quarter for the us and the fomc statement and the press conference that is something good to keep an eye at for sure thursday we have uh, manufacturing pmi from china we have um, monetary policy from the ecb and a press conference after that we have a gdp month on month for the cad and unemployment claims for the us friday could be a bit slow we have some bank holidays in uh, europe then we do have ism manufacturing pmi from the us during new york session so those are the events to keep an eye at as usual we will start with the uh, dixie on uh, the charts and uh, as you see the dixie did trade around these areas broke a bit higher ab above this level to then uh, reach this uh, previous high it's still uh, making uh, this squeeze after this impulse we had these higher lows and lower high <laughs> uh, coming here and um, on friday we tested uh, this previous high with a failure to break higher and a rejection which means we may can see another leg to the downside next week on the dollar so we need to watch that on the lower time frame because we, we see that the dollar is inside this channel and as you saw here on friday we got that uh, let me uh, take off these pivot uh, for last week and uh, start again because we don't need them right now uh, yeah uh, as i said we have uh, the dollar inside this uh, bullish channel tested previous high followed by a, a strong uh, bearish engulfing candle uh, to the downside we had another one here as well but uh, as you see these correction are uh, deep now each and every time we get we get these move we get a very deep correction deep correction and friday also another deep correction all in all i think if the dollar break below this channel next week we may look for a failure if it fails to make a new high then we are looking for continuation the first uh, level would be down here as a possible support and uh, the next is uh, even lower so we uh, if we see something like like this going on we may look for this target and if broken we target monthly pivot point now uh, we may be asking what about the upside well upside is um, possible if the dollar managed to break above this previous high if that would be the case and we hold above it we may then keep looking a continuation higher toward monthly r1 uh, i am looking firstly for the downside first on uh, on the dixie for next week um, while for oil, we're still going a bit of a sideways now after that <laughs> crazy move uh, toward uh, zero and even more than that. Uh, it seems like uh, the 10 to 20 is now the range to uh, keep an eye at. So, um, as I said um, in the previous uh, overview, this is uh, the range that we should be looking at. Don't play anything in between. You either wait for a retest to shugi if uh, to 20 if it fails at 20 you look for um, a reversal to the downside from that area back down or you wait for a retest of 10 if it fails to break lower you look for a buy anything in, in between now is is possible the, the oil could uh, move both uh, um, direction here without uh, much uh, effort so uh, you need to play the edges of this area to to have a chance uh, from my side i'm out of oil for now
uh, gold still bullish um, and we still have uh, the daily structure as uh, higher highs and higher lows uh, break retest continuation but the, uh, last week we did not have a break above previous high which make it a little bit uh, wait and see here because um, if uh, gold do not manage to break higher we will not look at um, the 1800 yet but if we get a break above this uh, previous high I think we are ready to start talking about uh, the 1800 as a possible target which is um, up here retesting these uh, previous highs yeah so um, yeah still bullish but for more upside you want to wait and see uh, if this breakout will happen uh, the first support level that is interesting is still uh, down here at around uh, 1670 and below that we have the 1640 so uh, any retest toward this uh, area here uh, be aware for possible bounce higher and if we get a break above that we look for continuation toward the 1800 EURUSD uh, still um, did manage to break back inside this uh, range here um, I'm talking about uh, this range guys there was a break below it but then the price pushed back up and uh, pushed inside the range looking on the daily time frame it looks like um, like it um, rejection to me and um, next week if uh, the euro keep holding above this level we may look for a continuation uh, at least toward this area and then next target should be uh, the top up here so i'm looking for a possible rotation here now uh, the uh, situation here is that you still could see um, what you're looking at is still could be a retest of um, a retest of um, a broken structure and then a continuation lower that could be the case so uh, be aware of that uh, I'm uh, interested in a long I am ready already in a long trade here and uh, as I said I'm looking for uh, at least the first target to, toward previous uh, highs here and the next target uh, up here at around this uh, major swing high of the uh, top of the of this uh, channel yeah so um yeah that was it for uh, the euro sterling uh, not looking as good uh, still could be uh, some kind of a correction here we had this impulse correction another impulse and now another possible correction now if the sterling failed to break above uh, this previous high on the retest of this broken structure we may see a possible continuation to the downside on this market but if they manage to break above it and hold above it you may see a little bit uh, more upside but as for now I'm watching this as a possible uh, bearish flag here uh, and um, this is the pole of the flag this is the channel and uh, as I said uh, any break below that could signal a continuation to the downside but that break of flag need to happen otherwise we may see uh, another retest and a bounce to the upside once again um, USD Jappy it's very choppy here uh, and I don't uh, like it uh, at this level I don't trade uh, these areas there is not much uh, major support here so uh, I would say uh, that you should keep an eye at around 107 as a good support level to uh, take a buy from or if we reach um, up here uh, at around 108.50 to look for a possible resistance and a short now if you want to scalp trade um, next week um, you have this area here uh, the uh, 10780 uh, area that you could uh, trade some scalp at if we get a break above retest continuation toward this area otherwise I'm mostly interested of um, trading um, trading of these lows or uh, this uh, previous high up here at 10850 because 10850 been a important level uh, even uh, previously if we look back on the daily time frame uh, it is a pretty uh, interesting area that been tested here 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 many many times so 108.50 and 107 are the uh, better level to watch USD chief uh, let's take a look on the daily time frame here another retest of the 200 moving average uh, that failed we tested also uh, previous highs uh, still inside this um, squeezing pattern here uh, we tested uh, a pretty important area on uh, Friday and got rejected so now we should watch on the lower time frame and keep following this uh, 
this market on lower time frame to see if this will continue with a break below structure retest if it fails to make a new high we are looking for a possible at least a possible retest of, uh, to these lows uh, on this market so uh, also sell on this one uh, is what I'm looking for um, USD CAD also uh, in a choppy scenario on the daily time frame so uh, I'm watching the one hour time frame here on this market and the main reason because we have a better structure we have a swing uh, low with a lower another lower high another swing that broke previous low we have a retest another low got broken here and uh, we are looking um, for retest and uh, maybe continuation to the downside as for now we've got that uh, a bit of a retest but uh, we got another bounce to the upside so still waiting and reading this uh, uh, price action here to see if we're gonna get some kind of uh, bearish flag here uh, if that would be the case uh, then we may uh, end up going something like this making another correction and then a break below the flag so as soon as we have the break below the flag it is uh, absolutely a possible short toward these levels you could also uh, if it fails to make a new high here try a short from this level anticipating a, a, a break to the downside also USD uh, still looking uh, healthy for more upside um, on the daily time frame we still have uh, a bullish structure with higher highs higher lows retest and probably continuation I am long on this and waiting to see if we're gonna get a break above previous high which would signal a continuation toward the top here on this market so um, um, long on this market for now and uh, if we look on the one hour time frame we see that we are still inside this range but looking nice because we had another mm, break above uh, previous high retest and another push higher looks like we are building up for a break to the upside to at least a retest of this area but any break above this high will signal that longer term continuation to the upside on this market so for next week any retest back down here toward this area i may look to add on this uh, long if there is uh, enough evidence here uh, for a bullish uh, move and a bullish signal New Zealand USD same scenario uh, I'm looking for possible continuation especially after this uh, great break retest and now I'm looking for continuation to at least the top of this channel here to a retest of this area and any break above this high here could signal uh, a continuation move toward this stop here so looking on the daily time frame you see that even on the daily here we have a higher high we got a retest and i'm looking for possible continuation to this major support level that got broken and may got retested uh, next week so um yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot see you next week and as usual any one of you who want to uh, try our trading room we still have the offer uh, the 14 days uh, trial for one dollar only cancel whenever you want there will be no question asked at all thanks a lot guys and see you next week bye bye